Hello everyone, so a few days ago I posted a video solving this exact question uh, from linear differential method. So that's a bit confusing, you have to remember a few rules and then uh, I tried to do this from another method and I got the same answer. So I just wanted to share that method with you and it's very simple, it's all about variable separation. So first of all what I'll do is send this term to the right hand side. So what we can write it as is dy over dx, this is a new step, is equal to x plus 2xy. So after this what we can do is we can take x common from these two terms. So dy over dx is equal to, let's take x common, what we will get is 2y plus 1. Yes, so now after this what we can do is we can send dx to this side and then the term containing y to this side. So after that, what we will get is, um, what, yep, so wait a minute, yes, dy over 2y plus 1 is equal to x dx. Now I think all of you know my next step, that's going to be integrating both the sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. And if you do that, then what you will get is the integration of this is simple and integration of this is simple as well it will come in logarithm so this is the beginning of another step so it will be 1 over 2 the coefficient of y over there is 2 so therefore you have to divide it with that to ln 2y plus 1 I suppose yes and the integration of x is x square over 2 plus c that's the integrate, integrating constant. So now let's send this 2 to the other side. Uh, yes, let's change the color. So it will be ln 2y plus 1 uh, is equal to. So this it will be 2x square over 2 plus 2c. Yes. So this 2 cancels this 2 and if you are to look at this term then it's a constant. We don't know what the constant is but then let's suppose this constant to be c prime. So let's substitute the value of 2c as c prime. Yep. So let's start another step. So now let's express this entire term in exponential form. So what we can write is I hope you know the properties of logarithm and exponential. So it will be e to the power x square plus c. So again, now what we can do is we can send this one to the other side. That way what we will have is 2y is equal to e to the power x square plus c minus 1. So after this, what we can do is we can also send the 2 to the other side and express this whole equation in the form of y. Uh, so y is equal to 1 over 2 e to the power x to the power 2 plus c minus 1 over 2. And I think, yeah, or let's write this as c prime, c prime, and c prime, just not let you get confused. So I think the previous answer that we got using another step was different from this. And I'll tell you how we can uh, get that step. So minus 1 over 2 uh, was the same, we got that as well. But then what we got different was there was no this and the c was multiplying e to the power x square. So I'll show you what we can do. So we can write it as y is equal to minus 1 over 2, let's bring this to the front, plus 1 over 2 times e to the power x square times e to the power c. We are just going to apply laws of indices over here, then the power is going to get added. So we can express it in that form as well. y is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So e is a constant number, it's fixed, it's not a variable. And okay, wait, c prime. Let's change the color so that you don't get confused. And a constant to the power a constant is also a constant. So what we can write is times e to the power x square. So let's express this term, this entire term as c double prime. It's, it's just a constant, it's not a variable, so I hope you understand what I'm doing. And another step is y is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus, now look at this, 1 over 2 multiplied c 
double prime. So C double prime is also a constant and 1 over 2 is also a constant. A constant divided by a constant is another constant. So we can write it as uh, C triple prime and I know expressing this uh, in triple prime form is going to be a little confusing. So we can write this as K, C, P, anything. It just signifies that it's a constant. So finally, let's use purple. Uh, therefore, y is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus e to the power x squared times k, where k is integrating constant. Your ic means the integrating constant. So if you want, you can leave your answer uh, over here, or, or it would be better if you leave it over here as well. But then I did all this to try to match the answer with the way I did in the first video, the previous video. So now we have gotten the exactly same answer. So this process does not need any kind of formula or anything. It's just simple variable separation and using the property of logarithm over here and rest understanding how to um, represent constants. So here we made it C prime, here somewhere we've made it as C double prime, and here is C triple prime. And we have written C uh, the triple prime as K. And yes, this is how you do it. And uh, thank you for joining me on this one and hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you.